what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. So today's video is actually going to be three days of carnivore. I've been doing carnivore this past week and carnivore seems to be um, very simple and kind of boring, which is what I love about it. So that's why I wanted to give you guys three days of eating instead of just one day. So that is your video for today, three full days of eating carnivore. So let's just get into it. All right, so if you are not aware of what carnivore is, it is the meat diet. So it's all animal products. There are no plant-based products whatsoever. So meat, fish, eggs, and dairy, that's pretty much it. So like I said, very simple, very boring. Um, you really kind of have to get creative in order to uh, stay on carnivore for a long period of time. For me, Carnivore is just a tool to help me um, in my weight loss journey. So I use it to help me get back on track. I use it to help me feel better if I'm carrying some bloat or some water weight. It is just a tool to help me. It is not a lifestyle for me. There are, however, a lot of people out there who use carnivore as a lifestyle for them, uh, which is awesome because it does have many health benefits. So if you are interested in it, I highly recommend you do your research and talk to your doctor about it because I am not a doctor or a medical professional. So if you do have any questions, definitely check with your doc first. But for me, it's just a way to get back on track. And that is what I have decided to do this past week after my uh, week of holiday eating. So carnivore is what I'm doing and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm eating for three days. I am doing carnivore for four or five days uh, this week, but I just wanted to show you three days um, just so it's not just one simple boring day of carnivore. So <laughs> just wanted to make it a little bit interesting for you guys. Also, I just want to give you a warning I am a very real person. You guys know that. I am not fancy. I eat on paper plates. I'm a very busy mom, so my house is never clean. I usually look like a hot mess. So if you are offended by any of those things, chances are you might not want to watch my videos. But if not, let's just get into it. Good morning, good morning. First day of carnivore, and I'm starting to get a little hungry right now. It's like 10:15. Uh, I've been drinking my skinny coffee all morning, so I think I'm gonna finish this. And I have a few pieces of bacon left over in the fridge, so I think I'm going to eat that for my first meal. Um, so not really a lot. And then I'm gonna have a bigger meal later on for lunch. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat some bacon, and I'll meet you back here for lunch. Hello, hello. So let's talk about lunch. At 12 o'clock, I got hungry for lunch. The three pieces of bacon did not hold me off too long. So I had a can of tuna, star kiss tuna, uh, solid white. I can't stand chunk light. It's just, I don't know, it's just different. I just, yeah. Anyway, I had some tuna mixed with mayonnaise and some mozzarella cheese, and that is what I had for lunch super simple and it is now 2 30 and i am about ready to have a snack so this is what i'm having i am having a ham and cheese roll up so you can hear that loud noise that's actually a swing down in the base in our basement jack and riley are swinging downstairs so that's what you hear. Anyway, ham and cheese roll up. It's just two slices of deli ham uh, with a mozzarella cheese stick right in the middle. So yeah, yummy little snack. What are you doing? I have an injured kid. All right, gonna have my snack. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're gonna survive. No, it hurts. Bye. Hey, good morning, guys. So I realized that I didn't 
film and share what I had for dinner for day one. Uh, so last night we had breakfast for dinner, bacon and eggs, and Chris made some homemade potatoes for them, uh, but I just had bacon and eggs. And we like to do that uh, once in a while, just have breakfast for dinner just to change things up and the kids really like it, so it works for everybody. Uh, but yeah, so I love bacon. That's just one of my favorite foods. Uh, so I love having it on carnivore. I try not to have too much bacon uh, because of the sodium, because it is processed and yeah, all the good stuff. But for my eggs, I had three eggs and I make them uh, scrambled mixed with mozzarella cheese. So it's cheesy scrambled eggs and it's just really yummy. And so yeah, that's what I had for dinner last night. And I'll see you back here later for my first meal. So I'm about to eat uh, my first meal right now. It's almost 11 o'clock. So I fasted about 16 and a half hours. I usually alternate between 16 hours and 18 hours. I listen to my body. I was really hungry. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> What's up with your hair? Well, I'm with my puzzles. I don't know. Look at your hair. <laughs> she has crazy hair. So I'm about to eat now and I already made it. And this is what I'm having. Just see that. I'm having three eggs uh, with some hot Italian sausage. I am like, I have been on a like hot spicy kick recently. I love spicy food. Uh, so yeah, I actually, I even want to put some red pepper flakes in it. Seriously, spicy kick. Uh, so yeah, three eggs and they're cheesy scrambled eggs. So I'm about to eat that and I'll catch you later. All right guys, so I just got out of the shower and my amazing hubby is cooking dinner tonight. And tonight we are having steak. Yeah, so he's also making broccoli, but I won't be having that tonight since I'm carnivore, so I'm just gonna stick with the meat. Uh, for this afternoon, I did have a very small snack. I had two slices of deli ham and a mozzarella cheese stick. So, yeah, that completes my day. I'm hungry. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys. So day three of carnivore. I'm actually doing carnivore for four or five days this week, uh, but I'm showing you guys three of those days to give you guys more options for carnivore meals because they can get pretty simple, pretty boring, but you know what? That's what I love about carnivore. So yeah, uh, today I fasted until it's almost one o'clock, so by the time I eat, it's probably gonna be like 1.15ish. And I just had my skinny beer coffee this morning, and for my first meal, we are going to make a chaffle sandwich, and it's gonna be a tuna chaffle sandwich. So loaded with protein, I'm super hungry, so I'm ready. So right now I need to make my uh, chaffle mix. And if you haven't caught this video right here, I show you how I make my uh, chaffles. In this recipe, I only use uh, two eggs, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and then one ounce of cream cheese. I actually double it now. And uh, that's because I usually eat a lot of chaffles. <laughs> when, I make, when I make my chaffle mix, I eat them for like three, four, five days. So I know I'm gonna do that, so I usually double it. When I do the egg fast, sometimes I even triple it because I know that I'm gonna be eating chaffles just to make my life easier. So this is what we have here. I have four eggs and two ounces of cream cheese and four ounces of, no, four, <laughs> four tablespoons of mayonnaise. So we are going to uh, mix this all together. The cream cheese I did soften uh, first just to make it a little easier to mix it up. So I put it in the microwave for like 20 seconds and we're gonna go ahead and do it. Mix it, make some chaffle mix.
Now, this is my egg fast recipe for chaffles, um, which is why I do four eggs and four tablespoons of mayonnaise because you want one tablespoon of healthy fat per egg when you're doing the egg fast. Um, so you can leave the mayonnaise out if you don't want to add that much uh, fat into your uh, chaffle mix, but I like to add it even when I'm not doing the egg fast because it just, I don't know, add some, I mean, I'm keto, so I like to add in that fat anyway. So I just mix it up a little bit with the spoon first, um, but then I'm gonna use my stick blender to mix it all up because it does it super fast and it's awesome and I love it. And it's done. So when I make my chaffle mix, I usually get this and I pour all of it right in there. It's easier to pour. Plus I just store it in my fridge with some aluminum foil on top and yeah, makes life easier. So this is one of my favorite appliances. This is what I cook my chaffles in. It's the um, Dash Waffle Maker. And I used to have the individual one, well I still do, but uh, it's so much easier to make this one. This was this has been heating up, by the way. Um, we wanna preheat it before you make the, chaffle, the chaffles, obviously. But this one makes four at one time. And usually when I'm doing like the egg fast or when I make my chaffles, I make obviously more than one if I make a chaffle sandwich, but sometimes I'll make even three or four if I'm just having plain chaffles. So I love this thing. And it also has the overflow compartment, so there's no mess at all. I got it right on Amazon, um, and that link is below, but this is literally one of my uh, favorite appliances. So we're gonna go ahead and make the chaffles. So I personally like to use uh, cheddar cheese on the top and the bottom to make them crispy when I'm doing a sandwich. If I'm making them just for, uh, just like as waffles with like sugar-free uh, maple syrup, I will do no cheese at all. But today we're making a sandwich so we're gonna do cheese on the bottom and top and the more cheese you put on the crispier it is obviously I do not grease them because it'll make the cheese greasy so they'll stay crispier if you don't put any uh, cooking spray or anything like that on it okay put a little bit on and then pour it right on top If you've already seen my videos, then you probably have seen me make chaffles plenty of times before because they are one of my favorite, favorite keto foods. They are a lifesaver when it comes to a bread replacement. If you want a sandwich, if you want waffles, you can literally just make anything. There's pizza, uh, pizza chaffles that you can make. So many recipes out there. You can just go to Pinterest and find a bunch. Just put in chaffles. And there's so many. So I put cheese right on the top as well. And that's just gonna make them crispy. And then we cook them for five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Sorry for those of you who have one. <laughs> you just got a timer. So I'm about to make my tuna, and Andy, my cat, she she knows what's up. She's been waiting. Cause I give her the juice, I give her the water. What's this? She's coming. There she is. So the chaffles are done and we're gonna get them out. I gotta get a plate. There they are, nice and crispy. Mm. 
second one. Those look yummy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make a tuna sandwich. I usually mix my tuna with mozzarella cheese, but because I have cheese in my chaffles, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. We're just gonna do like a regular tuna sandwich. But I am going to add a piece of American cheese uh, with my sandwich. So let's go ahead and put that on here. Not all of it usually fits, but I will try to eat the whole can just for the protein, unless I'm like super full and it's too much. But it pretty much fits pretty good but there is some left. I put too much mayonnaise this time, but I don't like dry tuna either. There we go. So there it is, tuna chaffle sandwich. Get my face out of there. Really yummy. So I'm gonna go enjoy that. And yeah, I'm going to be uh, meeting you back here for dinner. And tonight I am making a bacon wrapped beef roll. And I've made this uh, quite a few times in the past. It's really good. And uh, yeah, so we'll make that later. Bye guys. <sighs> so I was supposed to make the bacon wrapped beef roll for you guys for dinner, which I'm still going to be making it. But a little earlier, my sweet baby Jack, two-year-old twin, broke my camera. He broke my very nice Canon camera. And I wanna cry. I literally want to cry. It wasn't his fault, it was an accident. I, I had it in the tripod, he knocked the, the tripod over and it just smashed into the floor and crushed it didn't crush the lens but it, it like the lens went in and something inside of it crushed so it doesn't focus at all it's just it's broken I don't have a tripod for my iPhone to tilt uh, so I can't get the angle for the food you know when I'm making recipes so I don't know what I'm gonna do moving forward I have to figure that piece out but as far as tonight I can't I can't film dinner for you guys I'm sorry um, I'm, I'm still able to film my results videos though every week. That's not going to be a problem, but I have to figure something out as far as recipes and food and I can't afford a new camera right now. Like, I mean, I have an iPhone though, so <laughs> we'll figure it out. So anyway, the bacon uh, wrapped beef roll is super yummy and I really wanted to show you guys how to make it, but I'm just going to um, put it in here and basically tell you how to make it. Uh, the recipe does call for onions, uh, but I am doing carnivore, so I'm leaving the onion out. Um, it also does call for sugar-free ketchup, uh, but it's only an eighth of a cup that I'm using because I'm cutting the recipe in half, so not a big deal. I know it's kind of breaking the carnivore rules, but that's just what I'm gonna do. So I do wanna provide you guys with the recipe because it really is really yummy. So I will be doing that now. <sighs> Have kids, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <sighs> three full days of eating carnivore. Like I said, I love doing carnivore to help me get back on track. I feel amazing when I do it. I'm always super successful and it just removes that blow in any water weight that I've been carrying. So yeah, really excited to get back into keto though. That's another thing with carnivore. Once I do carnivore, it's very restrictive. It always makes me really excited to get back into the keto life and start eating my veggies again. And that is one reason why I could never do carnivore uh, long-term forever is because I love my veggies too much. I just, I just love keto. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, join my support group on Facebook if you haven't done that. The Shrinkables, the link is below. All right, guys, stay safe and choose health. Bye.